Welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to understand the performance differences between a Next Gen 308 and a Next Gen 306. Now the CAT Next Gen 308 is a great machine. We're going to demo it lifting 3,500 pound basin and just see how it does. After that we're going to be looking at a Next Gen 306 using the same weight and seeing what the differences are between the two machines. Now the Next Gen 308 has a long stick thumb bucket and coupler and on the 306 it has a thumb and coupler, we've removed the bucket. Whenever you can remove the bucket, it's one to one. The bucket weighs 200 pounds, you can pick 200 pounds more up. So let's see how the machines do. We're going to start with the Next Gen 308. So long stick, thumb bucket and coupler at full stretch and at low idle. So up into the cab, three inch fluorescent seat belt, firmly secured. And we're just going to do this at low idle, full stretch, lay down, and we're just going to lift that weight straight up out of the trench. No effort whatsoever, and we can go as full height till the chains go tight. We got enough confidence in the machine that we can bring that into the machine. We can come all the way around the machine, all the way to the back. Whenever you have a heavy weight on the machine and you want to carry it, you want to transport, always put the blade behind you. When you have the blade behind you, that's an extra piece of counterweight. So you can move forward, backwards, no problem whatsoever. Now this machine is a 308 with a steel track. Uh, rubber pad so it's got quite good stability it's got good working envelope over the side you see I can go around the side here the machine stays very stable and if you imagine this was a next gen 309 the lifting capability is exactly the same as a 308 but the 309 in North America has a long undercarriage so it's six inches wider and one foot longer so you got a lot more weight a lot more stability on the ground but look at the working envelope of this machine with 3,500 pounds on it when it goes out and then tips. But even when it tips, I feel very secure. It let me know it's tipping. I could put the weight down to save myself. But look at my recovery. I can easily drag that back in, recover the weight, and I come down very firmly on all fours. Swing back over the blade. Now whenever you're lifting a heavy weight, one of the last places you want to lift is over the corner of the blade. That's where you're most uh, unstable at. But you can see even with this weight, it gets a little bit tippy, but I can easily go out full stretch, even over the corner of the blade with this a standard undercarriage, but it is still track and rubber pad. And once again, I'll just bring that back up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and place at full stretch the 3,500 pound weight back into the trench. Look how far away I am from that trench, but I can place it there, control it, wait for it to settle. I can go down if I needed to reposition it. I can come back up and then make sure once my ground workers tell me it is in place, I can go ahead and sit it down. As easy as that. So, that's showing the lifting capability of the Next Gen 308 long stick, thumb bucket and coupler, steel track, rubber pad, and the 250 kilogram, 550 pounds counterweight on it. Now I'm going over to the 306. 306, angle blade machine, rubber belt, no extra counterweight. We have removed the bucket because we have a hydraulic coupler. We can do that without exiting the machine. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook this up onto that same weight, but this time you will notice how much closer I am to the trench. I can't lift this weight at full stretch with a 306, but can I lift the weight? Now that is the question of what I can do. So safety brace up. Graham is going to go ahead and shackle it up. Now whenever you're using a U-bolt shackle, when you screw that bolt in, screw it up tight, then unscrew it a quarter of a turn. That way it stops it from over tightening if it swings in the wrong direction first. And he's going to loosen it off a little bit. So once again, low idle, give it a few RPMs just for controllability. 
and uh, like I say, we're a lot closer. But look at this. This 306 can lift that weight back out of the trench close to the machine. In fact, this 306 is doing just as much as what many of the eight ton competitors on the market is doing. I can come around to the side. I can get around to the back of the machine with the same weight that the 308 managed. Get a little bit tippy there, but I have to hold it off the ground. And look at that, I can still travel. I can manipulate this weight forwards or backwards and back forward again. Just bring the blade back down just to stabilize it. We'll come back around to the side. Now I don't have the same sort of working envelope over the side as uh, I had on the 308, but I can get over the side. You saw me got around there. And once we get over the side, see it's starting the tip there, let's get the blade down. And we'll see what the envelope is here on the side. But once again, my recovery is no problem. I knew it was tipping because I was able to save it. But it's going to tip around about there. It tips so gently. I'm, I know I can save myself. It's not suddenly over like you see many machines doing. And of course, I can recover it. And once I recover it back, even with this 306 going over the corner of the blade. Now look, I can't lift it as high as the 308. Right there, it's maxed out. I have no more stick. That is as high as I can get it, but I at least could get this weight off on a over the road truck or trailer. I could get this weight load onto the ground and then place it into a trench such as this. So the 306 does have a lot of great abilities. The 308 just does it more, bigger and better. For further information about the next gen 306 or the next gen 308, contact your local cat dealer and look out for more how-to videos out there in the market. Thank you for listening.